Hi there everyone, welcome back to your daily dose at home with the Calgary Zoo. My name is Jen and I'm a proud member of the education team here. I'm coming to you from outside our grizzly bear enclosure. You may see somebody walk around behind me, but I do know that Skokie just went to sort of have a nap behind a tree over there, so we might not see him. In honor of Bear Week, I hope you watched Lauren's Daily Dose, where she talked about some of the bears that are living today. I want to focus on a fossil bear species. So I want you to come on back with me to the Pleistocene, the Pleistocene Epoch, which is a time period during Earth's history about 1.8 million years ago to about 11,000 years ago. And it was characterized, especially in North America, by megafauna, so huge, giant mammals like mammoths or the giant ground sloth. And one of the species of bear that was around then, then and in North America was the giant short-faced bear. Let me show you what its skull looked like. So this is a species of giant short-faced bear. There was one short-faced bear species in North America and one in South America during the Pleistocene. This is the giant one, as you can tell. It is humongous. So it first arrives and we first find fossils of it in North America about 800,000 years ago, um, and it goes extinct about 11,000 years ago. As you can see, it's a lot bigger. It's about twice, the, it's estimated as about twice the weight of Skokie. So Skokie on a good day, maybe a thousand pounds. These bears would be about 2,000 pounds. So bigger than a grizzly bear, bigger than a Kodiak bear, bigger than a polar bear. So they were up to about six feet tall when they were standing on all fours. And when standing on their hind legs only, they'd be about 12 feet tall. They could reach about 14 feet high. So these were big, big animals. Just for comparison, here's a grizzly bear skull. So this is a really big grizzly bear, a big, big grizzly bear. And you can see that it's not as big. So some of the theories around short-faced bears, they had quite long legs. Some scientists have thought that maybe they were really fast runners, that they were hyper carnivores, so they needed to eat lots and lots of meat. But there are a lot of other scientists who believe that they were just like grizzly bears. They were opportunistic omnivores that ate vegetables as well as meat. And what's really cool is their closest living relative, so the animal that, that is around today that's closest to the short-faced bear, is the spectacled bear or Andean bear from South America that is mostly herbivorous, so it mostly eats vegetation. One thing's for sure though, for the humans that were living in North America from probably about 30,000 years ago, to come against a short-faced bear would have been a pretty scary thing, whether it was a hyper predator or not. So I hope you enjoyed learning about this fossil bear. Uh, for your home activity, we'd like you to look at the geography of some of the modern bears, some of the bears that are alive today. So thank you so much for listening and thank you so much for supporting wildlife conservation.